Happening, everybody, and welcome to another Friday night live stream. We're doing it again. So, you may have noticed that I've not been keeping up with the Friday night live stream. Same old, same old. Uh, Friday nights are a difficult one because there's always something to do on a Friday night. So, you know, I do the Friday night live streams. I'm going to try my best to do them every single week, but you know, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. But today is a special live stream. Today is a special one because throughout this live stream, we're going to be doing the Wheel of Death and we are going to be seeing who is going to win the awesome Zetlite E200 or the E200S. So these are the rules. These are the rules on it. If you are in the UK, you will win the Zetlite E200. If you're in the USA, you will win the E200S. So also as well, if you are in um, Europe, you can also potentially win if you're in Europe. Um, I will be shipping you the E200 directly. The only downside, if you win and you're from Europe, you will have to cover some of the costs when it comes to shipping it to Europe. So I do apologize on that one. But it is what it is. Now, we had a hell of a lot of entries for this one. We had something like 860 entries into this giveaway. So obviously, I'm not going to do a Wheel of Death for 860 people. So today, I whittled it down to 25 people. Now the software that I use to you know to do the uh, to do the giveaway at the end of the giveaway at the after everybody's entered it gives you the option to pick a winner. So what I did was basically on that software I picked a winner 25 times. So if you are on the wheel you're already a winner in my eyes <laughs> because you was picked. So we're down to 25 people now and throughout this live stream we're going to see who is the winner. So I'll reveal very, very soon who is on the wheel. But first of all, we've got to do the thing that we always do when we start the Friday night live stream, and that is the roll call. So who was the first one in today? Ryan McCollum was the first one in today. Gao Gao was third today. <gasps> Gao Gao, you're slipping. You're slipping, son. You're slipping. Second was Moggy's Aquarium. And then we've got uh, Joe, uh, Joe Joseph, we've got Matt, is it Marty Rich, uh, Christopher Hamer, is it Hamus? Uh, we've got Captain Granger, I'm not even going to bother with that one, you know who you are, welcome. <laughs> we've also got Chris Johnson, we've got PJ Goblin, we've got Sam Osborne, Claudia Campbell's in, what's happening Claudia? We've got Jason Armour, we've got K and A Reefing, yo, Simple Fish Life is also in. We've got Peter, oh sorry, Petro, sorry, sorry. Um, Adam's in, Adam Pratt. Lin, uh, Linda's Reef, JB's Aquatics, Jack McManus, um, Hobbyist Fishkeeper, Mark Edwards, Brian Wiz Wiscom. Is that how I pronounce it? Sorry, mate. We've got Reef God in the house. Cameron's in as well. Otter Creek Aquatics is also in. We've also got Nina Carr. Who else have we got? We've got Kit Cat Welland as well. Welcome to the stream. We've got, um, what's that? Is it Cr Crinkles? Creek, sorry, I've probably butchered that. I'm not even going to bother with your surname, but you're in. Welcome. <laughs> ben Millward is in. Tidal Waves also in. The Blind Reef is in as well. We've got uh, Jamie Wickstead as well. Mick, oh, where's it gone? Oh, it's just jumps. There you go. Mick Goodman. Uh, Kyle James. Who else have we got? we got Ray's Reef. We've got George Fluffer. Still love that name. DW Reefs. Uh, Victoria Brewer. We've got Billy Pie. 
pipes. Yes. Now it's a live stream. Now it's a live stream with Philly Pipes is in. We've also got, who else have we got? Carl James, have I said you? Can't remember, but you got a shout out twice if it is. Matt Deary, Jamie C, William Burgess, Peter Atfield, and Adam Pratt. I think I've already said that, but bow to see you. So guys, Friday night live stream, right again. How is everybody? Are you all ready for Christmas? This is the big question. Are you all ready for Christmas? Because it's only around the corner. Now, when Christmas rolls around, Aaron's Aquarium has a bit of a ramp down. So what I tend to do, well, normally today is normally my last day when it comes to Aaron's Aquarium. And I sign off and then I see you all again in the new year. But what I've done this year is I've pre-recorded a couple of videos. Uh, obviously, I'm doing the live stream with you today. I've pre-recorded a couple of videos that will go out over the Christmas period. But my replies may be periodic i will reply but it may be a bit periodic if you're commenting on my any of my videos over the christmas period and then in january i'll be back up and running and then in january we're going to be starting are you ready for this the super simple reef build we're finally going to get it going now just in case you guys don't know what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up a reef tank that is as it says in the title super simple you know no skimmers no reactors no you know faffing about basically it's going to be the essentials and that's it that's all we're going to need to get this tank going now since i've mentioned this super simple reef build i've noticed that people have been associating simple with cheap now this hobby isn't cheap salt water isn't cheap and if you come into this hobby with a cheap mentality, you're going to struggle. Salt water isn't cheap. So this build will not be focused on how to make it as cheap as possible. It'll be focused on how to make it as simple as possible, but at the same time, giving you the ability to keep whatever it is that you want to keep. This tank eventually will be able to house SPS. So I'm going to be showing you how to step by step by step set up a system from scratch in a simple way but still be able to house and keep in essence whatever you want no limits well there'll be limits because of tank size but you know what i'm saying right are we ready are we ready to start the giveaway so throughout this we're still going to be doing a normal friday night live stream where you know q a if you've got any questions for me i am checking out the uh, i am checking out the comments as well so it is just going to be you know a normal live stream but periodically through the live stream, I'm going to draw a name and then you're going to be kicked out of the kicked out of the competition. And then we're going to keep doing that until we get to the very last person. And that person will be the winner. So first of all, I want to say a massive thank you to Zetlight for providing me with this light to give to you guys so that we can have you know this awesome competition. Now, in the background of this uh, of this here, you can see, let me just turn me off for a second. You can see like a, a, a red glow over in the corner. That is in fact the Zetlite E200 on my aquarium glowing away. Now, <clears throat> I did a video. Uh, I did a video a few weeks ago or a week or two ago where I was harvesting my, um, my macro algae out of my refugium. I think it was only about a week ago that I did that video, if I remember rightly. I'm about to harvest it again. That is how good this light is. That is how good this light is. I am literally about to harvest it again. So it's a it's a good, good prize for anybody. So uh, if you can't get one yourself, so if you don't win today, you know, obviously you will be able to purchase them as well. In the UK, it's a little difficult at the moment because it doesn't seem that there's any stock in the UK. But I think if you contact Zetlite directly, you'll be able to purchase one. And then hopefully um, the UK will start to get stock of the Zetlite light e200 because it is a top-notch refugium light it's not cheap though but like i said at the beginning of this live stream this hobby isn't cheap right are we ready let's uh switch over to the screen oh look at that handsome man <laughs> like do you like my background do you like my background so let's first of all let's fire up the wheel so this is the wheel this is the Wheel of Death, made famous by Reef Dudes. Reef Dudes made famous the Wheel of Death. Now, I've been using this wheel for years. I even did a green screen video once where I walked out onto the stage and this wheel was in the background. 
But Reef Dudes tailored it into this wheel of death. Everybody normally just span it and then whoever won, won. But what Reef Dudes did, he did it the opposite way around where he whittled down to the last person and it made it more fun and it just uh, it added that little bit of more of a drama to it. So I loved it. So uh, so uh, thanks, for Re thanks for that Reef Dudes for, for making that happen and making that a fun part of everybody's streams now. So these are the people that we have whittled down to and this has been completely at random i haven't picked these all it was was the software that i have literally just gives me a winner one winner and i literally pressed that 25 times and these are the names that came out so caesar first came out first and then we've got samuel uh, so Caesar, I can't do, I can't say your surname, mate. I apologise. Uh, Samuel, Le, is it Lababa? Lababa. Um, Ray Ashworth. We've got Ross Morris. We've also got Ben Johnson. We've got J, uh, Jimmy Nguyen. Um, we've got Adam, is it Bleacher? We've got Lloyd Williams. We've got Craig Lloyd. We've got is it Divan Samuel? Uh, we've got Peter Parry. We've got Steve Morgan. We've got Jenny, is it uh, actor? Um, Darren uh, Wilkinson. Uh, Chris, Cr Christian. I'm not even going to bother. You're in. We've got Victoria Brewer. We've got Reef Loco. We've got James Mannion. We've got Kat Welland. And, I'm assume, and I think Kat Welland is Kit Kat Welland. So you're actually in the stream. Sweet. We've got James, is it Sheargold? We've got Raymond Burns. We've also got uh, Kyle, is it uh, Peltier? Peltier? Sorry if I've got it wrong. We've got Jill Inwood. We've got Liam um, Ellicott. Ellicott. And we've got Ashley Flounders. So these are all of the people that are in the competition, that are in the giveaway to win the Zetlite E200. So... Are any of you guys in the stream right now? So we've got Victoria Brewer. She's in. Uh, we've got Kat Welland is also on there. Who else is on the deck? Because obviously your real names don't match your YouTube name. So I never know who's who. So all of these names on here, I don't know if you're actually in the live stream, if you're actually watching or what. I don't know. So uh, so we'll, I'm sure we'll find out soon. Um What's this? D uh, Dave's Nettle Tanks. I thought I had control of my mouse. <laughs> You're normally the wheel man, aren't you, <laughs> Dave? Let me just have a brew. See? I'm not on Pepsi Max today. I'm on a brew. I'm on a coffee because I've got, you know, the weirdest thing, right? It's quarter past nine now. Um, quarter past nine at night. And once I finish this live stream, I'm going food shopping for Christmas in the middle of the night. So that's why I'm on coffee at this time. Mmm. Right, so are we ready to find out who the first person is that is going to leave the Zetlite E200 giveaway? Let's hope it's not you. <laughs> so let's give this a little spin. Three, two, one. Give it a spin. Lloyd Williams, sorry Lloyd, you are out of the Zetlite E200 giveaway. Sorry about that Lloyd, but maybe next time in the next giveaway, because I have got some more giveaways to come to you guys in the new year. So guys, don't forget, this is a normal live stream as well. So if you have got any questions or anything like that, I'll answer them whilst we're spinning the wheel. Right. Uh, Dan um, Moran has said, how do I enter? Or sorry, how do you enter? Um, entries have now closed. Entries closed a few days ago. Um, I released a video um, about a month or so ago, um, you know, showing the Zetlite E200 uh, LED light. And at the end of that video, you had the opportunity to take part in this giveaway. So unfortunately, Dan, um, you can't take part now. But Make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that the bell's pressed because in the new year, I am going to be focusing on he heavily on giveaways just like this. So if you want a chance to win, then you're going to have to watch the videos because when I do some sort of review video or some sort of unboxing or whatever else, I may be giving that product away as well in the end. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, let's see. Right, so... 
Let, yeah, so as Dave said, let's hear from anybody on the wheel. Who is on the wheel? So we know um, uh, Kit Kat's on the wheel. We know that... Um, who else was on the wheel? I've forgotten now. Anyway, let's give it another spin. Are you ready? Let's go. <sighs> Raymond Burns, Raymond Burns, you, unfortunately, my friend, are no longer in the Zetlite giveaway. But thank you so much for taking part. You are awesome. Uh, Dan has just said, I've just subscribed, so I will be, uh, I will keep an eye out. Uh, I'll keep an eye out in the future. Sorted, sweet mate. Right. Kit Kat Welland. Oh, I was just going to say Kit Kat. Kit Kat saying she's having palpitations. <laughs> Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Who else? So, are we ready again? Are we going to do this again? Now, just what I. Uh, hold on. Let's just do it again. Oh, as well. Just. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Craig Lyde. I know who Craig Lyde is. Sorry about that, Craig. Is Craig in here today? Is Craig in today? I'm sure. I did I see his name? I know who Craig Lyde is because he goes under Craig Lyde on here as well. So I'm assuming it's the same Craig Lyde. Unfortunately, Craig, you are out of the Zetlite E200 giveaway. Sorry about that, mate. Now, you may notice I'm a little bit clearer today. If you've been watching my videos, if you've watched the recent videos that I've been putting out, I did nearly pass away due to man flu. It nearly got me. Very, very nearly got me. But it didn't. I survived. And I'm a lot better today. The video that I released today, obviously I recorded that. Excuse me. I recorded that um, a few days ago. Most of the videos now that you see on my channel won't be in real time. You know, they'll be filmed at some point. Excuse me, that coffee's repeating on me. They'll be filmed at some point and then released at some point in the future. So uh, just to let you know that, you know, when you see me in real life going, hold on a minute, you had man flu on your video and now you haven't. That's the reason why. Right, are we ready for another spin? We've got 25 of these bad boys and it's gonna get it's gonna get really tense as we get close to the end. Let's give it another go. Oh, I've adjusted it. There you go. Oh, Caesar. Caesar was the first one on the list and he's gone. No. Oh well. Sorry about that, Caesar. Um, thanks for taking part and uh, make sure that you take a part in future um, streams as sorry, future giveaways as well. Right, fishing outdoors, Sam. Hi, Aaron. Sorry I'm late. No worries, mate. I know it's crack of dawn for you. Mm. Coffee. Yum, yum, yum. What's the quality of the stream like, by the way? Guys, just in the comment section, just ask me now. Is, is the visuals okay? Is the audio okay? Because I forgot to, forgot to check. Um, DW Reefs has said, I can't cope with this. DW Reefs, who are you on the wheel? I don't know who you are. Let me know. Right, let's give it another spin. Are we ready? Oh, is this one gonna be you? Make sure that you cross everything so it's not. Three, two, one. Steve Morgan, Steve Morgan. I don't know who Steve Morgan is, or I might do, I don't know. If you're in here, Steve Morgan, unfortunately, you're out of the giveaway, giveaway even. What's King Craig saying here? I've just clocked something here. Aaron, reply to me, or I shall what? I shall punish you for your deeds. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Brilliant quality, but not as great as my reign as king. <laughs> <laughs> right are we ready are we ready to do it again let's see who the next one out is cross your hands cross your fingers that it's not you it's chris is it christian christian is that how you pronounce it oh it was so close to you victoria i know you're in here it was so close to you then but christian unfortunately you are out sorry about that my friend Oh, D.W. Reeves is Darren Wilkinson. Oh, you're, you're on here, aren't you? Oh, ho, ho. Squeaky bum time for you then, son. <laughs> Woody's Reef has popped in. Welcome, Woody. Right, are we ready to spin it again? Let's see. Let's hope it's not you. Oh, I've done it again. There you go. Kyle, is that Pelleter? 
Oh, Pelletier. Kyle Pelletier. Unfortunately, you haven't won. Oh, but make sure that you subscribe because I will be doing this again in the future. I've got some good ones to give away. The next one that I'm going to be giving away. Nice. Mm. <laughs> Mogsy's Aquarium is Steam Organ. Steam Organ, are you still on here? Or have, I just, or have we just lost you? Did we just lose you? Sorry, I've just started even paying attention now, am I? <laughs> Cat saying I feel sick. Gal Gal, why am I not in the cut, fella? Like I said, you know, can't show favoritism. When I was drawing the names for this, the software that I use literally just gives you the option to pick a winner. I picked a winner 25 times. Those 25 people went onto the wheel. So if you're not on, it's not for any other reason than the fact that that software didn't choose you. So there you go. Right. Let's pick another one. James Mannion. James Mannion. Unfortunately, you are out. Oh, it's never nice. It's never nice. So let's see. Oh, keep adjusting that. Oh, Muggs is out. Muggsy is out. Right. Let's see. Should we go again? Let's go again. We've got 25 of these to get rid of. Let's see who the winner is. Du, du, du. Ooh, Liam Ellicott. You are out, my friend. Oh, no good, no good, no good. Do you know what? This wheel's making noises. Can you hear the, the, the noises that the wheel's making? Oh, I need to check the box to say that it says delete. Oh. Where does it say that? Where does it say that? Are these, are the names not going? Oh, you've made me think now. You guys might get another go. One, two, three. Oh yeah, Caesar's are still there. Oh, where's, where do I do it? Dave, where do I do it? Uh, advanced options, is it in there? Oh, remove choice after it has landed. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Apply wheel changes. Well, well. <laughs> Guess what? You're all back in the game. We're starting again. You're all back in the game because I wasn't deleting the people as it was spinning. So you're all back in. We're starting it again. Oh, -ho -ho. you've got another chance for the people that went out. Now, unfortunately, the people that were still in, <laughs> you know what it's like. Sod's law. You might be the one to go. But sorry, I didn't know about that little checkbox thing. Dave, Dave's nano tanks has just informed me about that. Sorry about that, guys. But at least you get to get another go. So let's just do that again. And we'll fire it up again. Back in the game, boys and girls. Back in the game. Right. Let's give it another go. <laughs> they get another go. Let me just have another break. Chris Johnston, Reef Dudes did the same. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I've ever done this. And I've never actually, you know, I've never actually used this in this way before. So uh, I didn't know about that. So there you go. Right. Let's see. Are we ready? <laughs> it's always the same on the Aaron's Aquarium live stream, isn't it? If everything, everything goes smooth on an Aaron's Aquarium live stream, something's wrong. Something's not right. So, <laughs> are we ready? Let's go again. So, who's going to be the first one out this time? Ray Ashworth. Ray Ashworth. Sorry about that, my friend. You are out of the giveaway. Right. <laughs> God, do you know what? I'm glad I'm not in this. I'm glad I'm not in this because I can uh, I can feel it a little bit. I'm I'm not going to win this, but even I feel a little bit like, oh, please don't be me. Please don't be me. <laughs> right, let's go again. Let's spin it again. We have to spin a bit quicker now. Oh, Darren Wilkinson. There you go, Darren. Oh, DW Reefs is out. Oh, sorry about that, mate. Sorry about that. Right, let's go again. 
Dave's Nano Tanks is a professional wheelman. Definitely a professional wheelman. To be fair, Dave, I should have thought a little bit further out into the future and I should have got Eunice to do this for me. <laughs> I'm noticing on the on the people that are watching, it goes down. <laughs> What's happening when people get kicked out of the wheel and what they're leaving the stream? <laughs> right, let's go again. Let's go again. Kyle, it's just not your it's just not your day, Kyle, because you got kicked out before as well, didn't you? So it just wasn't meant to be, Kyle. It wasn't meant to be. Let's go again. Let's go again. Steve Morgan. Wow, that was borderline, wasn't it? Steve Morgan. Oh, you, that was that gone again. That was you again. <laughs> Mugsy's Reef. Just wasn't meant to be, was it, mate? Just wasn't meant to be. Right, so. Let's go again. Let's have another swing. Swing. Spin. Christian. Same again. Wasn't meant to be. Wasn't meant to be. So it's working out that to be. Is this for the glue gun? No, gal, gal. This is for, as it says, right at the top of the screen, screen for the Zetlite E200, which is an absolutely awesome refugium light. <laughs> Kit Kat has said, I need a nervous pee. <laughs> Let's hope this one isn't you. Adam Bleacher. Adam Bleacher, you are out of the stream, my friend. Sorry, if, not stream, sorry. <laughs> don't go. Don't go if you're in here. Don't go. <laughs> you're out of the giveaway. Right, next. Ashley Flounders. Did you go as well before? There you go. Looks like we're evening out here. Looks like things are going back to normal after my little blunder. Let's spin again. James Sheargold, you are out. Sorry about that. You are not able to win the E200 or the E200S. 420 Reefer said, I use a Z-Light in my sump and I love it. It, gr it um, It's grown macroalgae all good. Yeah, it does. I know mine has just grown the algae for fun. Like I said, I think it was a week ago when I harvest, harvested my algae. And then by the looks of things, I need to harvest it again now. So um, yeah, it is a proper good light. Let's go again. Let's spin it, spin it, spin it. Johnny Morton is a new subscriber. Welcome to the stream, Johnny. Uh, welcome to the channel, Johnny Martin. And Jimmy Nguyen is out. Ooh, sorry about that, Jimmy. You cannot win a Z-Lite E200 or an E200S. Let's go again. Reef Loco, no, 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 Reef Loco, you are not a winner, my friend, sorry about that. Right, so, quick intermission, let's have a quick intermission, let's have a look at some beautiful Lobos and Zoas. So, um, I, you guys may have noticed, um, a while, uh, I've set up a Pico tank now, it's a five litre or a two gallon Pico Reef. And it's so cool. It's so cool. I'm loving it. Currently, it's got um, hammers in it. Uh, yeah, it's got hammers and frog spawn. And I've got um, a, what do you call them? A rock flower anemone. And I've just added an anemone crab into it. And it's proper cool. It's really, really good. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, it's, it's, I've got an AI Prime HD over it. And you'll never guess what percentage that I'm running the light on. And just, just, just put a percentage in the comments and let me know how, how, what percentage you think I'm running that AI Prime on the Pico. Let's see what you think, what you think I'm running it at. So let's see, Lee Fletcher, am I out? Just turned up. Uh, I don't think you're on the wheel, are you, Lee? No, I don't think you're on the leel. wheel, Leal. <laughs> right, back to the wheel. Let's get back to the wheel. Let's have another sw swing, spin. Why don't we keep saying that? The names are getting bigger on the screen, people. Ooh. Let's spin it. Caesar. 
<laughs> just wasn't meant to be, mate. Just wasn't meant to be. Right, so you're all putting your percentages down about what percentage that you think that I'm running my AI Prime on. So Ellicott's reefer said 8%. Joseph's reefer said 20%. Kit Kat has said 9%, Joseph has said 4%, and Woody's Reef has said 8%. I am actually running at 9%. 9%. The blues, all of the blues are on 9%, and then the reds, yellows, and whatever the other colours are, they're running at 3 <laughs> 3%. It's mental. It's a proper cool little light, that. Do you know, for what it is, for the size of it. It's not a bad light at all. Not a bad light at all. So... Let's see. Right. Let's give it another spin. Let's get it another spin on this wheel. Who's next? Who's next? Liam Ellicott. I said your name last time, didn't I? So again, wasn't meant to be. Wasn't meant to be. Let's go again. Look at the size of these names now. Ooh, we can see everyone. Who have we got left? We've got Samuel Le... What's it? La Barba. We've got Ross Morris. We've got Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson. That rings a bell, that name. Who's ben, who's ben Johnson? Ben Johnson. I'm going to say Ben Johnson again. In the um, simple... Oh, my mind is mush today. Simple... Oh, I can't remember. Sim, <laughs> my mind's gone to mush. Ben Johnson, you're in here right now, aren't you? Anyway, let's give it a spin again. And we'll see who's left after this one. Ooh. Oh, it's Kat. It's Kat. She's out. Ooh, sorry about that cat no sorry about that right uh dave's Nettle tanks has said the ai prime hd is the number one light in his opinion uh, you know it's a very very good light i've got to admit it is a very good light for what it is and for its cost as well i think what was it 200 quid or something it's not bad simple fish life that's it ben johnson that's the guy hmm Let's see. <laughs> let's uh, let's get it another spin. Let's give it another spin. Lloyd Williams. Lloyd's out. He was out before as well. So Lloyd, obviously, it was just not meant to be. So these names are getting big now. They're getting big. Who's the next one? James Mannion is also out. Oh, we're getting squeaky bum time now. We're getting to squeaky bum time. But we've got a little intermission because... We have got a question. So um, Joseph has said, um, doing Triton like you, uh, got one problem though. Um, I'm getting hair algae in the main display. Weird. Since I have a sp full spectrum LED uh, growing my macros in the sump. Any ideas? Yeah, because sometimes um, your, you know, your tank lights, your tank lights can be potentially providing more light to your display than your refugium light is providing to your macro algae. So the hair algae in your tank is actually going to start out competing your macro algae. What light are you using on your refugium? Because you might need to get like a bigger, more powerful light, a stronger or a better light, so that that light will out compete your main display. So uh, I think if I remember rightly, this set, uh, now do you know, to be honest, I can't even remember what the power levels of this set light is. I did test it, but I've completely forgotten, so I'm not even gonna guess. Uh, <laughs> Cat has put Michael can we do it again I think it's broken <laughs> it's definitely not broken this time it's definitely not broken this time <laughs> right let's get back to the wheel let's have another quick spin of the wheel you know I'm going to take these headphones off because uh, the noise cancelling headphones and, it, and I sound really loud I think so I might be able to turn my voice down now because those headphones the noise cancelling and I can't hear now I can hear everything <laughs> Uh, stolen by Defo, yeah, Defo broken. My name was not on it. I know I couldn't get everybody's name on the wheel because we had over 800 entries to the giveaway. So, you know, obviously, we couldn't do a wheel of 800 people and we couldn't, you know, we couldn't do it that way. So, unfortunately, you wasn't on the wheel, but you was obviously a part of it because the 800 people, basically what I did, the software within the, um, you know, the, 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 sorry, the giveaway thing, the giveaway software within, within the app that I used, um, basically picks a winner. 
So I pressed on that to pick a winner 25 times and all of these people that you see on the wheel um, are one of those 25. So now what we're doing it again on the live stream with 25 people and we're whittling it down to one. Ooh, is it gonna be? Right, let's go again. This is when it starts to get close now. This is when, you know, you've got more chance of being caught out. So we've got Raymond Burns. We've got Jill Inwood. We've got Samuel LaBarba. We've got Ross Morris. We've also got Ben Johnson. We've got Craig Lloyd. We've got, was it Devon Samuel? We've got Peter Parry. We've got Jenny Acta. And we've got Victoria Brewer left in this oh, excuse me, left in this giveaway. So who do you think is going to go next? Who do you guys think is going to go next? I bet you hope it's not you. I bet you hope it's not you. So Bungles put 800 people to get a frag. <laughs> no, no. It's to get an awesome LED light. It's to get yourself one of these. A awesome Zetlite E200, super slim, super nice LED light. It's got a little rubber surround on it, so you're not going to bang it into things and break things and all that lot. It's nice. It's nice. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's a good tip. So uh, Dave's Nano Tanks has said in in reply to the uh, to the Triton question was uh, Dave's Nano Tanks put increase the refugium light time. So obviously that will you know give the light more. Try and run it twenty four hours. You know if you're not already, you know try running it twenty four hours for now until you know the refugium starts taking over your tank. Um, and again, you know check to make sure that you uh, you know you do have a, a light powerful enough to outcompete your tank because even if you're running it 24 hours you know you might still not be able to outcompete your tank's lights so uh just give that a go um let's see ryan shackleton white spot has come back with a vengeance all my fish are now gone so i'm gonna go follow for the next three months oh it seems like this time of year if you noticed obviously i get white spot flipping throughout all 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 times of the year so it doesn't matter for me i get white spot all the way through so but i have noticed there's a lot um of people suffering from you know white spot outbreaks um over the last month or two you know big big uh you know uh, big losses big losses right so should we spin again just make sure it's actually on let's have another spin let's give it another go Ben Johnson, oh, Ben's in the stream, I know Ben's in the stream, sorry Ben, you're out my friend, he's probably too big for your reef anyway, <laughs> but, but, if you would have won it, then that might have been a, then that might have been a cheeky little excuse to make, get a bigger reef, you know what I mean, but, just wasn't meant to be mate, wasn't meant to be, right, let's see, <laughs> simple fish life aka ben johnson no <laughs> sorry mate let's go again it's getting close it's getting close jenny actor jenny actor unfortunately you are not a winner today sorry about that sorry 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 so again Let's uh, let's give it one more spin and then we'll have a, a little break. We'll have a little break. So who is going to be the unlucky person before we have a little break from spinning the wheel? Who do you guys think it is? We have left Peter Parry. And I know who Peter Parry is. Peter Parry is my aquarium god he is my coral god he is my jason fox he is my worldwide corals peter parry so it's good to see him in here but will he stay we've got victoria brewer who is also in the stream right now she's in the stream is it gonna be her raymond burns we've also got jill inwood we've got samuel LaBarba, ross morris craig lloyd and devon samuel who is going to be the winner? We don't know. So we'll come back to that in a little minute. 
So what have you guys been up to? What are your plans for Christmas? Are you going to be doing like what I'm going to do where I'm just going to shut down? That's what I do at Christmas. I work hard all year. You know, a lot of you guys know I never stop. You know, if I'm not, obviously my normal job, you know, my day-to-day -day job is being a media and marketing manager um, for an aquarium company. So I run their YouTube channel, I run their Instagram, I run their Facebook, I'm also a sales rep. I'm also, you know, everything in between, you know, I do all of that stuff for them. Obviously, I do Aaron's Aquarium as well. I do all of the videos and everything for Aaron's Aquarium, as well as running all of the Facebook and Instagram and everything for Aaron's Aquarium and traveling all around the country to visit loads of different fish shops. So, you know, I'm a busy man, busy, busy man all year. So literally now, as of today, well, as of after today, from tomorrow, I shut down. That's me. Just sit back, relax, and then just enjoy the break. And then in January... We're back at it again. So um, I'm going to be doing a big push on Aaron's Aquarium next year. Um, I'm going to have, you know, this is my sort of like my New Year's re resolution next year is do a big push on Aaron's Aquarium next year. You know, get Aaron's Aquarium out there. Aaron's Aquarium, I'm going to look to sort of like tailor it towards the newbies. I'm going to look to um, create content, especially for newcomers or people that, you know, you know, are still learning the basics and stuff of the, you know, of the hobby. So like I said, in January, I'm going to be starting up the super simple reef build. Um, and that is going to be tailored towards new people coming into the hobby. People that may get a little bit scared when other people say, no, you don't want a saltwater tank. You don't want a saltwater tank. They're too difficult. They're way too difficult. Stick with fresh water. You know, we won't be doing that. I'm going to, I'm going to try and get rid of that myth because that's what it is. Saltwater tanks are no more difficult than a freshwater tank in certain aspects. So, you know, I'm going to be looking at that. And then throughout the year, you know, I'm going to be doing all sorts of different things, you know, like vlogs, you know, you guys seem to like um, last Sunday's little vlog that I did when I went to Oasis Aquarium. So I'm going to look at trying to introduce more videos like that, you know, how to's, you know, how to do this, how to do that, blah, 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 blah. You know, all of that is coming in the new year. So it should be a lot of fun for a lot of people. So, Let's see what you guys are up to. Let's have a quick look. Uh, Kat said you never stop. No, I don't. That's the reason why I've got a hairline like this. <laughs> Stress. Um, Ryan's put big family party Christmas Eve. One day off and back to it as normal. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. See, I've obviously, I've, all, I've for a long period of time worked in sort of like the retail industry um, where just like you, you know, everything only shuts down for Christmas and then, you know, things just start up again. You know, I used to be a truck driver for a, a company in this country called Aldi. Um, actually, I think you've even got Aldi in America now. Um, I used to be a truck driver for them and they're just a 24 seven operation. Do you know what I mean? They only shut down for Christmas day. Um, and then the back in and you know, the back up and running again. So, you know, <clears throat> you just never get to stop, especially being a truck driver. You never really get to wind down or have Christmas off. So since I started with this new company, they shut down for Christmas, which is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. So I'm, uh, I'm actually getting Christmas off this year all the way through to the 2nd of January. Ooh, ooh, don't know what to do with myself. Um, let's see what you guys are up to then over Christmas. Joseph is saying, I'm going to eat all Christmas. With you on that one. I'm with you on that one. Definitely with you on that one. Um, uh, YouTuber said, I must say, the tank in the background looks amazing. Yeah, that's the wife. That's the wife. That is my lady. <laughs> That's my lady. She's looking good, isn't she? She's starting to look better and better as uh, the months go by. Um, there's still a lot more to do. Like on the first island where the Zoas are and the Lobos, you can see like um, a Valida um, SPS coral on its own. That's currently the only SPS coral on the island. So I will be adding, you know, more SPS corals to the island um, over the next months, and, months or so. And then um, obviously the center island, you can see like the green stag. You can see like um, just behind that green stag, we've got the strawberry shortcake. And then to the right of the stag, we've got the uh, Miyagi tart. And then just to the right of that, that green looking um, uh, thing is actually a red planet. 
even though it's green. <laughs> and then, you know, further over, we've got the uh, the five-year at the bottom and then the, the green Monty Pora plate, stuff like that. So where that green Monty Pora plate is and the red one and stuff like that, um, there's a lot more that needs doing to that area. A load more corals need to come in, but bit by bit by bit, you know, it'll start to build up and uh, it's going to look way, way better than it does right now. Um, let's see, let's click back on there. There you go. So, uh, Mark Edwards says, uh, you coming to Cornwall in the new year? 100% yes. Not working though, I'll be coming on holiday because I flipping love the place. Obviously, it'll be summertime um, when it's warm. But yeah, 100% I'll be coming down there. I love the place. Absolutely, absolutely love Cornwall. Um, definitely, definitely coming down there. Just Even if it's just for a weekend, love it. Um Ben's going Christmas shopping now. See, uh, see you next time, pal. Catch you later, Ben. Um, what's this? Simple fish like I do 12 hours at work running a car paint shop and my YouTube channel. So I'll be doing the same, I think. Slowing down and spending some time with a family. Yeah, it's the best way, isn't it, mate? Best way. Um, let's see. YouTube, security guard, working all Christmas. Oof, oof. It's a problem in it with those type of jobs. You just don't get any downtime, really. And it's long hours as well as a security guard. Like 12-hour days, is it? <laughs> Nick, jo uh, Nick John. Glad to see you're looking better. It was touch and go there with the man flu. I was worried about you. I didn't know if you was going to pull through. Thankfully, you did. It was a close call, mate. It was a close call. But I battled through. I battled through and I defeated the man flu. But, you know, we know as men... Us men, we know it is, it's 50-50. <laughs> when you get man flu, it's 50-50. Only the strong survive. <laughs> um, what's this? The reefing, um, is it is it Rican? Rican? Sorry, mate, if I've got that wrong. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the stream. Uh, let's see. Nina Carr, mighty fine lady you got there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. She is a little bit of a beauty, isn't she? <laughs> right, so YouTube, two days, two nights. Oh, oh you got to do days and nights? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, 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 no. Couldn't be doing with that. Um, Ellicott's Reef, walls, wall frog spawn keep uh, receding uh, back... Uh, receding back what's the best placement and flow i have uh, i have just moved it to the sand bed uh, with gentle flow <laughs> soon as you put wall the word wall w-a-l-l -L, before any euphilia wall frog spawn wall torch wall flipping hammer those things you've only got to look at those bloody things sideways in the strip or they recede or they get brown jelly or whatever the wall ones, oh, I avoid them like the plague. I honestly, I avoid them like the plague. They tend to be the ones that go the quickest and the easiest. And I, it, I don't even think it even matters sometimes where you put them because they just, you know, they just go. <laughs> Maybe one of the people in the stream right now, um, any of you guys, have you, any of you guys had, you know, experiences, er, ex, good Good experience with the wall type of euphilia, whether that's a wall hammer, wall frog spawn. You know, have you had good experience with that type of euphilia? I never have personally. Uh, uh, Ryan McCullum, Aaron's Aquarium. When is the other big, the other big tank coming? Um, name idea, the side chick. I've already had the side chick. The side chick's been and gone. <laughs> the side chick's been and gone a long, long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, no, um, I've just spoken to the company. The, the tank is partially made, but I don't want it anymore. Um, I don't want it. So um, it is. It is. It, it, it's gonna stay with them. Um, I'd. I, I've thought about it seriously. I've had a real good think about it in a four foot long by three foot deep by one foot tall 
open aquarium is just going to cause absolute chaos in this house i've already got mold on the ceilings from the just from the wife you know i'm always having to sort the mold out on the ceilings and stuff like that and that tank is just going to make it worse so the 4b3 isn't coming now uh, i'm not having it i'm not doing it um i'm going to do something else but i'm not going to be doing that so uh so that what that bad buy is not going to be coming but in the new year there is going to be some new uh some new and definitely at least one new tank coming on top of the super simple reef build but that one um that one's not coming anymore it's just going to be too much of a pain in the butt um jamie wickstead has said i had a wall one and it died within weeks they normally do <laughs> um ryan shackleton yes i have a big wall as you have seen and I've had it over a year. Actually, yeah, come to think about it, Ryan Shackleton. I went round to uh, to his house and had a look at his tank. And he's got a massive, massive wall hammer. And it is a stunner. So where his is positioned? His is positioned right on the floor of his aquarium. Um, it's not in any direct flow. In fact, it's actually directly below the flow so he's got an mp10 is it or an mp40 um he's got an mp10 or an mp40 on his tank and if it's it's spraying from the left side to the right side and then he's got a fluval fx4 canister filter so what he's got is the fluval fx4 canister filter flow is flowing directly from the back to the front and then as it comes to the front the MP10 or the MP40 goes across and that flow from the canister then gets intercepted by the MP pump and it goes across. So there's like a bit of a, um, you know, like a bit of a triangle or a bit of a square where all of his euphilia are at sort of like in a, in a very semi dead spot in his tank. So maybe try something like that. Super, super low flow in not stupidly intense light um let's have a look let's have a quick look and see um blah, 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 blah. reef keepers in what's happening phil hi michael hi everyone wall corals can be tough i've had several die and the branching and everything else still thrives they are finicky yeah they are they're very very finicky the wall ones very very finicky indeed um ryan's emailing me a pic uh pic of it now thank you very much nasty nemo's in what's happening welcome um you should paint the room using bathroom paint. Then you should get... See, I thought that as well. So there's a patch. So, <laughs> so basically what happened was a section of my wall, the, um, the paint actually flaked off the wall. So I ended up painting back over it again with bathroom paint. And it's, it's been wicked ever since because that section of the wall was pretty, you know, renowned for flaking paint off. So I think I'm going to do exactly that, JB. When I finally get the effort in me to paint this room again, I will 100% paint it in bathroom paint. That is a very, very good shout, my friend. Very, very good shout. Oh, oh, oh. I've just realized something because Hester's just done it. Hester's just hit the super chat. Oh, thank you so much. And because she's just hit the super chat, I've just realized that the Legends board, it's not on. All of you legends are not being, you know, represented up on the legends board. But Hester is now. So Hester has just hit the super chat. And that means that she is now an Aaron's Aquarium legend. She is immortalized on that board for as long as this stream may exist. So Hester, thank you so much for that super chat. And that super chat entitles you to one of the... Hold on a minute. Just going to make sure the sound's on first. Entitles you to one of these. Hester, thank you so much. You are awesome. You are awesome. Right. I don't think I needed to press that button, to be honest. Yeah, there we go. Right. There we go. Hester, thank you so much. And Hester has also left a comment with her super chat. And she said, hi, everyone. Just popped in to say a quick hello as I am at my mates. But Mike, I will need your help after, uh, after New Year, if possible. Please. And happy Christmas. And happy New Year. H Hester. You know I'm always here to help. I am very busy, so I'm not as easy to get hold of as I used to be in the past. But if we saw a time and we saw a day and I write it in my diary, I will be there, 100%. Thank you so much. 
Right, so let's have a scroll down. YouTube, how is your sand sifter? Ooh, so sand sifter, sand sifter. Now, if you watched um, the, the video on Sunday, if you watched the vlog on Sunday, you will know that I purchased a Bella Gobi um, a, couple, uh, a week or so ago. Um, I purchased a Bella Gobi and it was, it was one of those type of purchases where I'm either going to just absolutely love it or I'm going to completely regret it. <laughs> because Bella Gobies act in a very, very similar way to blue cheat Gobies. Now, Gobies like gold spot Gobies, um, chart Gobies, tiger Gobies, excuse me, things like that tend to stay on the gravel. They sit there on the gravel, they'll scoop up the gravel and they'll just filter it through where they stand. But blue cheat Gobies tend to swim they tend to hover quite a lot and they will swim up higher into your tank and they're renowned for jumping out of the aquarium as well so this bella gobe is very very similar in the way it acts as a blue cheat gobe and i was thinking mm, because what blue cheat gobies also do and a lot of you guys will notice is they tend to pick up a mouthful of gravel and dump it over your corals. Now I've in the past, I used to have a really, really beautiful fungia plate that was on the sand and I had um, a blue cheek gobi completely bury the fungia plate and killed it. So, you know, I was thinking it's a bit dodgy. I'm not too bad because there's not anything flat on the gravel. You know, you can see here, you know, you've got the lobos, you know, the lobos, even if they do get gravel on them, they tend to sort of like ripple themselves and push the gravel off. So it's not too bad as long as they don't get completely buried and then everything else, it's not too bad. But I'll be honest with you, he has been an absolute model citizen so far. He's built, so see, just down there where that green lobo is down there, that green lobo isn't there anymore. It's on the other side of the tank. But what he's done where that um, green lobo is, he's built himself a little den. So he's built up a little bank of sand, but nothing that's going to cover up the zoas or the acans. He's built himself a little den. And he's underneath that rock. He's underneath that rock. And that's all he's done. He's not built anything. He's not done anything. In fact, you can see just at, um, in front of the um, the acans there, you can see like some, you know, some big pieces of stuff. That's probably dead coral skeletons, you know, you know, bits and bats of all sorts of different things like shells or whatever else. He's actually cleaned the full entire tank so all of the gravel is pristine white and all of the big pieces you know shells or you know dead coral skeletons or anything like that he's literally picked them up and taken them into this cave here so the whole entire tank now is like particulate free there's no big pieces making it look ugly so the sand looks flipping awesome absolutely awesome so so far so good I'm not regretting my purchase, so he's, he's good, he's good, he's good. So, oh, we've got somebody else on the Legends board. We've got somebody else on the Legends board, everyone. William Burgess has hit the Super Chat and got himself on the Legends board. William, thank you so much. That is much appreciated. All of these Super Chats are definitely going to go to a good cause because next year, oh, oh God. I am going to spend a small fortune. I've already, I've already started to spend money that I don't have. <laughs> so things like that is definitely going to help. Thank you so much, William. William has put, got to go, keep up the vids. William, much appreciated. Thank you so much, mate. And you are now on the Legends board, immortalized for as long as this stream may exist. And because you did a $10 super chat, well, it was $10, but you're probably using an iPhone and the nick to penny. You get yourself one of these. Look at that fire. You, my friend, are a true Aaron's Aquarium legend. Thank you so much, William. You are a star, superstar. Right. So let's have a quick scroll down. I found a little gem of an LFS in a, in a mall near my house. Great fish and corals, super clean systems, tons of dry goods. Nice. Asubrito said, I'm planning to, um, to have a closed loop system and the end of the pipe that goes 
back to the tank will be hidden in a rock near the bottom of my tank. Will I need to consider head pressure for this? Uh, I don't know. I'm, do you know, to be honest, I'm not even going to answer it because I've never, ever done or looked into a closed loop system. So I, I don't know. I don't know about head pressures and stuff. I like the idea of closed loop systems, but, you know, I, I don't, I couldn't even advise. Couldn't even advise. So I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Uh, Joey Vera. Oh, this is a this is a good one. Um, have you set up quarantine? So obviously I put a Bella Gobi in this aquarium after, you know, was it a month or two ago now? I lost a lot of fish due to white spot or velvet. I don't know what it was. It was one of the two. Now, people asked me on that video, oh, you didn't quarantine. Why have you not quarantined? So I'll answer that question now. So the reason why I didn't quarantine that fish is because there's no point. Think about it. Now, I, I could put that fish in quarantine and I could put it in quarantine for 30 days. I could put it in for six months. I could put it in for two years. I could put it in for four years. But the tank has already got white spot. The tank has already got, you know, that in it. So no matter how long I put that fish into quarantine for, when it goes into my tank, it can still be attacked by white spot. So there's no point on quarantining it. Now, this tank behind me, I'm basically deeming as a write-off. It's a fish write-off. Anything that is finicky, anything that has a tendency to get white spot easily will not be going into this aquarium. Gobies and things like that, you know, tend to be a bit hardier. They tend to, you know, they tend to shrug it off a lot easier. Um, especially this Bella Gobi, it's happy as Larry, so it should be fine. So that, the only reason that Bella Gobi went in, because I needed it, you know, I needed it to do a job, because I've got, I've currently got two Harlequin shrimp in my tank, which are eradicating Asterina stars in my tank. Now, previously, I used to have two very big sand sifting starfish, but obviously they had to come out of the aquarium, they're in my sump, they had to come out of the aquarium because they would have been eaten by the harlequins so i needed something to maintain my sand so it was a necessary evil really and um you know obviously i didn't choose it lightly but you know gobies tend to be a little bit more hardy when it comes to you know stuff like that none of the fish that are left are showing any signs of white spot so i thought you know um i'll take a punt on it i'll give it a go you know also as well the reason why i've not gone fallow with the system like i said i was going to is because i simply can't catch the fish i can't catch them so i'm just you know what gonna do there is no way no way on earth that i am uh, breaking this aquarium down just so that i can catch a couple of fish when everything's so established the way it is corals are growing like weeds everything's doing really well there is absolutely no way on earth that I'm breaking that tank down. So it just is what it is. You know, the fish that are there are the fish that are there. You know, I'm not going to be going crazy on adding new fish. You know, any new systems that I, I create, that's where I'll concentrate on fish. This one's a fish right off, in my opinion. What's in there is what's in there. And then if I do add any other fish to the aquarium, there will be something that's either a necessity or, you know, they're a little bit more hardy. Ooh, we've got another legend. We've oh, Haley's in. Sorry, JB. I've just seen that you're a legend, but Haley's in, and I've not seen Haley yet. Welcome, Haley, captain of the ships. In that's why the stream's been struggling. That's what. That's why the stream's been struggling because Haley's not been helping. She's not been here. Oh, she has been here, and I've not seen her. So she's in now. Everything's sorted. We're all good. <laughs> right. So JB's Aquatics has made himself up onto the legends board. Whoop whoop whoop. JB's Aquatics. Thank you so much for the super chat, mate. Every little helps. Everything helps. Everything goes towards what I am doing. Now, you already know that I'm already on the hunt for a new camera, you know, so that is definitely going to go a long way because this new camera that I want, oh, oh, oh it scares me just thinking about the price. <laughs> it's just, oh, but... Um, I've been using a Panasonic GH4 for a long time now, and it's a wicked camera, but, you know, it's it's getting on now, it's getting old. So I've decided, you know, in the new year, like I said, I'm going to up my game a little bit, and part of upping my game is upping my camera. So, you know, I'm going to get myself a new camera next year, you know, and, um, you know, it's it's not cheap, but it's definitely going to be worth it because, you know, the, the way the videos are going to look, they'll be a lot better. So JB, JB is it, the super chat. And he's done a five pound super chat. So that entitles him to one of these. Oh. J 
JB's Aquatics. Dude, thank you so much. And he has put in his comment, happy Christmas, Michael. Hope you and your family have a good one, mate. Get yourself some Xmas treats on me. Thank you so much, my friend. That will definitely go towards the biggest Xmas treat at all, of all, and that is my new uh, camera. Right, so should we have another spin of the wheel? Should we have another quick spin of the wheel? So who was the last person that was out? Jenny. Jenny was out last time. So let's have another quick spin of the wheel and let's see who the next one is to leave the Zetlite E200 giveaway. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria, you're out. Oh, sorry about that, Victoria. Victoria is out of the giveaway. Sorry about that. Right, so let's have a quick look. So we've got some things here. Mike, just run wondering what fish you think I can get next. I have a pair of Chucky doll clownfish. I have never heard of Chucky doll clownfish. Oh, who attack similar ones, especially the female. What fish do, I, uh, do you think I can add? um how big's your tank i can't remember how big's your tank um because obviously if they're if they're very aggressive obviously you'll need a bit more space or you'll need something that's not going to get beat up by clowns but clowns clowns are like jack russell's they'll fight anything big or small if it comes in their territory they'll go for it <laughs> that's what clowns are like um acid burrito said um how did you create um the like the lightning Awesome effect uh, behind the wife. Oh, the lighting. Sorry, the lighting. I'm no good today. I'm no good today. So, off to enough. Uh, the light behind is, in fact, th this light that we're giving away right now, the Zetlite E200. Um, it, it's just, I see these boards at the bottom here, these black boards. I have those on the other side, but when I was filming this, I forgot to put the boards back on, you know, to, to mask the light. And it just worked out that it looks wicked. <laughs> so in fact, that is my refugium light. That's my Z light E200 light, you know, backlighting. Um, let's see if I can do it here. That's backlighting the aquarium. So um, I think if I ever do a new aquarium, I'll actually get like um, a refugium, you know, one of those sticky on LEDs and I'll actually backlight the tank just like that because it looks so cool when the blues are on. It does look really, really cool. So it was a bit of an accident, really, when I was filming. I just forgot to put the boards back on and the, the light was shining through. So is what it is. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's catch back up to where we're up to. Um, Joseph has put, Michael, I got a problem with my dosing pump. I'm getting air in the tubes and there, there is no way I can it can enter somewhere wondering if it could be uh, the dosing heads um, uh, strange had it seven months um, sometimes you know so basically inside the dosing heads there's a pipe so inside the dosing heads is a pipe and after a certain amount of rotations that pipe can actually wear down so maybe that might need replacing but I sometimes get air in my lines as well, and you'll probably find it's probably somewhere very, very minute, and it is sucking air from somewhere. Um, you know, it is pulling in air from some from one of your unions, one of your joints, something like that, and it's just pulling ever so slight amount of air. So just check your joints, check all your joints, check all your unions, and uh, it might be, it, you might find it. Uh, let's catch back up. Um, Padawan's in, everyone. Padawan's in the house. Padawan. So if you guys have been following the Padawan setup video um, and you've noticed that they've stopped now, haven't you? We did a couple of videos, but they've stopped. The reason why they've stopped is because, are you ready for this? Padawan's got a new tank. Ooh, Padawan's got a bigger tank. He's got a six foot. So the, pack, so the tank that he had in the setup video was 5B2B2 and it was the very, very first and probably the only Aaron's Aquarium tank. I built Padawan's tank about four or five years ago. Um, I literally built the tank from scratch. I built Padawan's tank. So he has the first and probably the only Aaron's Aquarium reef tank. <laughs> but now 
After five years or so, it's time to upgrade and he's now got himself a six foot long by, I think it's two and a half foot deep by two foot tall, if I remember rightly. Padawan, you'll have to tell me if I'm right. So he's got a nice new big tank that we're going to be setting up again in the new year. So we're going to do another setup video on his tank in the new year once we get it going. It's going to be one hell of a task because we've got to take out his old tank and we've got to put in this new tank. And um, what we've done is um, Padawan sold off a lot of his stock that he had. Uh, do you know, just the bread and butter stuff like certain euphilias, you know, normal euphilias that you can get anytime. You know, he's just sold them off. He sold off a selection of his fish, but he's kept certain things that he's either got a bond to or um you know he might not find it again or he might find it again but it'll cost silly price so he's kept his purple tank he's kept his regal tank that regal tank the, the reason why he's kept the regal tank is because me and him the pair of us have had that tank now for about five years four years for about four years i think we've had that tank now um if a tang sorry because it was my tang originally when i had the first wife the six foot tank the first wife um that was my regal tang and then when i uh, made the transition from the six foot to the seven foot um he he took my regal and he still got it to this day so he's kept that and then in the new year you know we're going to be firing up again and he's going to be doing his new big massive padawan's reef now, he doesn't do YouTube, or he does a little bit, but he doesn't do YouTube, so it'll be me documenting his tank. So, you know, I'll have to go around once a month and document his tank just like I do my own. What's that? What was that? Prezies. Prezies has just subscribed. Welcome to the channel, Prezies. So, seeing as though we're on this screen, let's spin the wheel again. So, the last person to get kicked out was Victoria. And how many people we've got left now? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six seven people left in the zet light e200 giveaway raymond burns jill inwood samuel le barber i can never say that right ross morris craig lloyd and daniel oh sorry devon samuel oh and peter parry sorry <laughs> right are we ready to skip spin it again who is going out next are you ready let's go Samuel LaBarba, sorry, you are not winning the Zetlite E200 this time. Sorry about that. Let's see. So let's have a let's have a flick back over. Has anybody said anything? Padawan, it's time to become a master. So this has been the great thing about Padawan's tank. So you know, over the past, over the time, Padawan's tank has you know Padawan's. He's had his ups and his downs, just like me. You know, obviously, me and him have learned this hobby together. Uh, me and Padawan have grown up together, basically. You know, we've grown up on the same estate. You know, we've we've known each other since we was babies, basically. Even though he's older than me, old get. <laughs> but um, when we've always had the same hobbies. So basically, before we started being reefers, we were um, we were both. Um, what you call it? One sec, one sec. We were both helicopter pilots, not proper ones, RC helicopter pilots. We both flew remote control helicopters. So we both used to do that together. So our hobbies have always run quite in line with each other. Um, so now, obviously, as we're reefers, you know, we're growing together as reefers. And over the period of time, you know, he's had his ups, he's had his downs. We've had beautiful tanks at one point, then it's all died and everything else. And just now with this new tank, it was it was getting into its stride. Everything was doing mint. He had acros in there, Monty's in there, wall hammers. The wall hammer was doing mint. It was massive. Um, Fungia plates, blah, blah, blah. Everything was doing sweet. But this new tank came up and it was like... It was just one of those deals that you just you couldn't turn down because it was free. That's right, free. He paid not a sausage for it. Six foot long by two and a half foot deep by two foot tall and a 4B2B2 sump for free. Gotta take it, ain't ya? Gotta take it. So what he's done is he's shut that tank down now. He's kept 
the stock that he just simply can't get up, you know, can't do without. Put them in a little tank and now the, you know, the transition is going to take place. It's going to take place. So it's going to be fun because it's going to be a lot bigger. Um, you know, we're going to be doing it all over again. So we're going to follow the pro progress of his tank. Right. Let's have another spin. Let's have another quick spin. Ooh, who's next? Why is that showing up on the screen? Why is that black bar there? God knows. Anyway. Are you ready? Let's see. Who's the next one out? Craig Lloyd. Oh, Craig. Craig's out. I know who Craig is. I know who Craig is. Craig's out. Sorry about that, Craig. So, oh, how many have we got left now? Five. Five people left in the giveaway. Five people left. So it's down now to um, Devon Samuel, Peter Parry, Raymond Burns, Jill Inwood, and Ross Morris. Oh, he's going to win. Who is going to win? So yes, as Tina has just said, we've currently got 77 people watching today's live stream. So if you are enjoying today's live stream, if you're enjoying the fun, please, 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 please hit that like button. It's right there on your screen. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to do anything special. Just hit the like button. If you're watching the stream on a smartphone and you've got the chat on screen, you may need to close the chat for a second, hit the like button and then open the chat back up again. It's much appreciated. It's the best way to show me some love without doing a super chat. <laughs> right, Phoenix's four foot 11 legacy. Um, I'm doing good, uh, hang oh sorry. Oh, Melvin. I know, I've just realised, dude, that is Melvin. You've changed your name again, haven't you? Just remembered. <laughs> I thought you was a new person then to the stream. I've just, re I've just remembered it's you. Um, Padawan's just said, boom, right time and pl place, I guess. That's it, right time and place. And things like that, just can't turn them down, can you? Um, let's see. Cat's uh, put, I'm dreading it too. First without my dad, uh, make it one, uh, one she can look down and smile at. Oh, you're talking to uh, Haley, I guess. Or someone, yeah, Hayla, don't know. Right, let's see. Ryan, Michael, I've emailed you a pic of my wall hammer. It's the green one in the center. Um, I'll have a look in a bit, mate, because obviously I've got to carry on with it. So let's give this wheel another little spin. Are you ready? Who's the next one to go? Is it going to be you? Let's hope not. Peter Parry! Oh! <gasps> Oh, if I am a little bit biased, I didn't want it to be Peter Parry. <laughs> so, uh, Fishing Outdoors, Sam. See you, Aaron. See you next week. Catch you later, mate. I don't. I won't be. I won't be streaming next week. Um, that is. This is the last Friday night live stream of 2018. So I will see you in 2019. Uh, 2019. Can't get my words out tonight. 2019. So uh, thanks for popping in, Sam. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if I am a little bit biased, I didn't want it to be, I didn't want it be, to be Peter because two reasons. Number one, he only lives around the corner, so I could have just taken him the light. <laughs> so then I wouldn't have had to pay for postage. So that was a winner. And number two, it would have given me an excuse to go around to his house because he's got some stunning corals. But the wheel is the wheel. You know what I mean? The wheel is the wheel. So Pete, unfortunately, mate, you're not a winner. Sorry about that. Right. We're down to the final four and we're going to go through this now and we're going to see who this winner is um let's have a quick look at the comments is there any comments 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 uh travis um ever use natural sea water i'm currently using it and i uh, and i love to hear your thoughts so excuse me so before we do see this tank behind me travis this tank was originally set up with natural sea water a thousand liters or more. No, it's about a thousand liters of natural seawater went into this aquarium, and I've not done. I've done. I've done a couple of very minor water changes in the past. I think this tank is about 14, 15 months old now. So I've done. I've probably done about. I don't know. Let's just say, for argument's sake, I've probably done about 400 liters worth of of water changes in the last 
14 months so you know we're still a large majority of this is natural seawater if you know what i mean and if the natural seawater comes from the right place i love it i love natural seawater because you know it's what it is it's it's what we're trying to emulate with our synthetic salts you know we're trying to emulate the sea so you know what is better than the sea nothing <laughs> you know what i mean so i like natural seawater but it's definitely got to come from a certain place definitely right Let's see, um, Joseph has put, got a question for you. Any tip on how to get a lawnmower blenny to eat other stuff than just hair algae? Try feeding it mastic. Now, if you've not heard about mastic, it's a food that's by Easy Reefs. Um, it's it's a food that you basic that you make yourself. You add, a, uh, I think it's seven milliliters of RO water to 14 grams or something like that um and you you knead it and mix it and it becomes like this um this thick paste if you if you get some of that and actually stick it into your rocks you'll be surprised they go nuts for it my my lawnmower blenny bless his soul has gone now but granddad my lawnmower blenny used to absolutely love mastic absolutely love it if i put mastic on the rocks he would lie on top of it so none of the other fish could get it. And then when all of the other fish give up trying to get it, then he'd eat it. <laughs> Honestly, try mastic. He'd love that. Um, let's see. Raven Car has put, that's good food, Mastic. Yeah, it's really good. It is good stuff. Uh, my lawnmower blenny went mental for it. Um, so cool, me and my dad were collecting and found an injured seal which we which we got rec rescued. Thanks for the reply. Vid on my channel collecting it. Okay. See, that's one thing. I don't like natural seawater being collected from the beach. That's my personal opinion. I would never use natural seawater that was collected from the beach. And the reason why is because I feel that the beach is nature's natural skimmer cup. And you wouldn't do a water change with the water that was in your skimmer, would you? And you've just said it yourself there. On the beach, washed up was an injured seal. Everything gets washed up onto the beach. All of the crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not that I'm saying an injured seal's crap, but you know what I'm saying? Everything washes up onto the beach. It either gets consumed in the sea, and if it don't get consumed in the sea, it gets skimmed out of the sea onto the beach. Now, that water you're putting into your tank... I don't like water being collected from the sea, but but there's many, many, many aquariums out there, obviously including your own, that works perfectly fine collecting water from there. I personally wouldn't do it, so that's there. That's my two pence or two cents on the matter. Um, JB, okay, I'm out, guys. Have a good Christmas, everyone. See you all in 2019. Yes. David Turner, going to AAC Boxing Day to buy the rainbow. Oh, no. No, David. No. I want that. Oh, has he got more than one? I need that rainbow chalice. I need that rainbow chalice. So just in case you guys don't know, AAC is Advanced Aquarium Consultancy. And it's down in Harlow, I think, in Essex. Um, stunning shop. Absolutely stunning shop. If you're ever going to do a bit of a tour around the UK checking out fish shops... AAC has to be on your list, has to be, there isn't even, you know, there's nothing about it, you know, has to be on your list, because it is a stunner of a shop, they've got rainbow chalice um, frags in the shop, and they're charging £100 per eye, <laughs> some of you will get what that means, <laughs> they're charging £100 per eye for these rainbow chalices, but they are stunning, I'm going to get one. I am going to get one in the new year. That's on my bucket list to get one. Uh, one one of the corals that I want before the end of 2018 is a jack-o'-lantern lepto. That is one coral that I have to have before 2019 rolls in. I have to have one of them. Um, and then in the new year, a um, couple of bucket list corals. The rainbow chalice is definitely one. Um, and then a few other corals, you know, um, we'll see. But yeah. There are definitely two corals that I need in this tank. Need. Right, so let's get back into the giveaway. Let's have a let's have another spin of this wheel. So 
Last person to get kicked out was the reef god himself, Peter Parry. So who is next? It's down to Raymond Burns, Jill Inwood, Ross Morris, and da uh, Devon uh, Samuel. So let's see who is the next to leave us. Let's go. Jill Inwood. Ooh, sorry about that, Jill. You are out. You are not going to win a Zetlite E200, but make sure that you stay subscribed to the channel because there's many, 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 many more giveaways to come. That bar is getting on my nerves. I don't understand why that bar's there. Go away. It's driving me mad. Anyway, there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so let's get back to it. Anthony, Anthony Blogger, aka Infamous Aquatics, is in the house. So hold on a minute. Let's just pump the brakes a second. Now, Infamous Aquatics. Oh, all that time. How long did we not have audio for? <laughs> oh, Anthony, I was just literally bigging you up like I don't know what. I was like, literally, uh, you know, I was worshipping the ground that you walked on. And it's just no sound, no sound. <laughs> right, anyway. So back to what I was saying. Back to what I was saying. So Anthony, you know, he's now doing his new YouTube channel. 263 subscribers he's got. Uh, this uh, this is Infamous Aquatics. You can hear me now though, can't you? Yeah, you can hear me now. We can hear you now. It's talking for ages then with no sound because I've I whacked the mic. But anyway, back to it. This is Infamous Aquatics' his new channel anyway. Check it out, subscribe to the channel. All of his videos are, are, are brilliant videos. The way that he makes videos is so, so entertaining. Really, really entertaining. So definitely check out his channel. It's a lot of fun to watch, a lot of fun to watch. Uh, show some love. Show some love to somebody that probably, more than likely, shown a lot of love to you when you were starting out as a YouTuber. When you were starting out as a hobbyist, you know, he probably provided you with some really good information or, you know, he came over to your your channel and, you know, give you that bit of a push, give you that bit of an incentive to try harder. So definitely get over to his channel, hit that subscribe button, show Anthony some love 
and uh, and get going. But only do it if you're interested in him in what he creates. Don't just subscribe for the hell of it. You know what I mean? Because it's all good having loads and loads of subscribers on your channel. But if they don't actually watch then it's not really worth having him. So, you know, make sure that you're going to watch as well. Show him some love. Check his videos out. He never does them for very long anyway. You know, eight minutes, nine minutes, two minutes, two minutes. It's not much of your life per video. So, you know, he keeps them short, he keeps them simple, and he bangs them out. So, you know, definitely show some love and watch the videos as well. Make sure you do that. There's a link to his channel. Click it. Enjoy it. Simples. There you go. Let's see. Woody's Reef watching Paul set up his new AC tank. What is Paul streaming? Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Why is it not on my list? Where is he? Is he streaming on YouTube or is he streaming on Facebook? Would I? I've not got any streams for him. Let's have a quick look. No, it's not down as him streaming. He must be streaming on YouTube or some or Facebook or something because I've not got him here. Anyway, right, let's uh, let's carry on with the spinning of this wheel. Let's uh, let's throw this wheel out because we're not far off done now. We've got three people left. We've got three people left on this wheel. The last person to get kicked out was Jill. Jill got kicked out. So let's spin the wheel again. Ooh, Devon. <laughs> Devon, you're out, my friend, and it's down to two people now. We've got Ross Morris or Raymond Burns. Who is it going to be? Who's it going to be? Ooh, should we find out? Should we find out who the winner of the Zet Light E200 is going to be? Let's do it. Let me just move that screen over, though, because it's irritating me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. Right. Let's do it. Let's find out who the winner is. Three, two, one. Let's go. Raymond Burns. Raymond Burns, you are the winner of the Zetlight E200 Refugium Light. Congratulations, Raymond. You, are you in this stream? I don't know if you are or you aren't. I don't know if you've got a YouTube name or something like that. Different to yours. But if you're not in the stream and you're not watching and you don't know that you've won, I do have your email address. So I will be emailing you very, very soon and asking you for your address so I can send you out a Zetlite E200 or if you're from the USA, a Zetlite E200. S. Raymond Burns, congratulations, my friend. You are the winner of the Zetlite E200 or the E200S if you're in the USA. Wow. So there we go. Congratulations to Raymond. So Raymond is a winner out of 860 people. He won the light. Now there's some odds there, isn't there? It's like winning the lottery, that. <laughs> it's like winning the lottery. So congratulations, Raymond. You're the winner. And uh, I'll contact you very, very soon. And we'll get this light sent out to you. Obviously, it'll probably probably be in the new year because there's no point in sending anything out now because the post will just lose it. So um, congratulations, Raymond. Right, so there we go. That's it. That is the Zetlite E200 giveaway done, and we have a winner. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's stream. I am gonna wrap it up and call it a day. Um, I'm gonna go out food shopping now because it's half past 10, and that is just what you do at half past 10 at night. You go out food shopping. <laughs> the joys of a 24 hour lifestyle. So I'm gonna go out food shopping now. Thank you so much to everybody that has taken part in the giveaway. And thank you so much to everybody that has taken part in today's stream. Thank you, extra special thank you to Hester, to William Burgess, and also to JB's Aquatics for being today's Aaron's Aquarium Legends. You guys are super duper awesome. Thank you so much. Guys, this 
is the very last Friday night live stream of 2018. <gasps> the Friday night live stream will be will return in 2019 and we'll be doing more or less the exact same thing in 2019 where we'll just be simply hanging out, answering questions and having a laugh. There'll be a new video out on Sunday. Sunday's video will be I'm making the video tomorrow, so I'm going to be going doing. Um, I'm going out to a fish shop to tomorrow to buy a few bits for the Super Simple Reef build. I'm going to be going over to the Abyss Aquatics um, to pick up a, a new canister filter um, for the Super Simple Reef build. Uh, I'm going to be going over there as well for a few other bits. I'm going to be doing a bit of mooching about, and I'm going to be filming it all, so you will get to see that on sunday hopefully um i'm releasing my videos now at half past three in the afternoon uk time so that's gmt every sunday so if you want to check out my videos as soon as they release set your alarm 3 30 uk time and the brand new aaron's aquarium video will be released on a sunday all right guys thank you so much for today thank you so much for the finger merry christmas to every single one of you i hope you do exactly what you want to do over Christmas. I hope Santa brings you all of the stuff that you want him to bring you. And if he doesn't and you get coal, well, you deserve it. <laughs> all the rest of you guys, right. Thank you so much. I will see you all in 2019. Guys, see you later. <laughs>